My mom was an accountant, and so she would do the accounts of the farmers and the shepherds. And that meant that I got access to watching all the spring lambs being born. And, you know, there's something that happens in that lambing community when a mother's sheep will reject a lamb. I think I've told you that. They're called bummer lambs. And what the shepherd will do is he'll take that little lamb into his home and he'll feed it with a bottle and he'll keep it warm by the fire. And just as Isaiah describes, at some point during the day, that shepherd will hold the lamb close to his heart. And when the lamb's strong enough to go back to the sheep, he'll be put back with the flock. But in the morning, in Scotland anyway, when the shepherd stands at the edge of the field and calls, sheep, 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 the very first ones to run to him are the bummer lambs because they know his voice. And I think it's the same with our shepherd. I definitely know that I will be a bummer lamb till I see Jesus face to face. Does he love his bummer lambs more than everybody else? No, but we've just discovered his grace at a point when we felt so broken. I guess that's a gift that I would love you to receive today. The gift of grace. You can't earn it, but the shepherd stoops down with it in his hand.